Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for April 2nd, 2021. Walt Disney Imagineering is hard at work preparing Cinderella Castle for the world's most magical celebration. If you've been following our updates recently, you would know that beautiful faux bunting has been slowly added to the exterior of the Magic Kingdom Park icon. But just yesterday, we reported that uh, more pieces were up. But now Disney has announced that they have added the final piece of bunting on the lower level and the decorations will be moving upward. And of course, we will keep you posted uh, the best way to get news as it, as it happens is to go to the site at www.nt.com if you don't want to wait for the show. And in fairness, we don't cover every minor update on this program, so if you want to know every little thing that's going on at the parks, the best way is to make sure you visit the website every day. Fans of the Haunted Mansion will be thrilled to use the new bottle stoppers during their next ball, as long as the ghostly ballroom dancers are invited, that is. Phineas, Gus, and Ezra hitchhiked their way out of the Haunted Mansion onto silver bottle stoppers, the wine stoppers, if you will. Bottle stoppers are metal with a silicone gasket that keeps the bottles airtight. We found this set at Disneyland last year. It took a long time to get here to Walt Disney World, but it is at Memento Mori at the Magic Kingdom for $24.99. They're also now on Shop Disney. If you're feeling hungry, these adorable new snack keychains at Epcot, well, you can't eat them, but, I mean, you can, you can have them. I don't know. Featuring some of your fan-favorite treats, you can find these new keychains at the Temporary Mouse Gear. We're starting to find them at other locations as well. They've actually arrived at Disneyland uh, also. Uh, there's one that's the Balloon Popcorn Bucket. There's the Mickey Kitchen Sink Sunday. Uh, at Disneyland, we found the uh, Little Green Man uh, Alien Popcorn Bucket, which is cool. Uh, so this is a really cool collection. These are very, very, very Tokyo Disneyland. These are things they've had forever, or these keychain versions of actual food souvenirs. But now they're in America, $9.99 each. Fans of Disneyland's famous Matterhorn Macaroon will be excited that Walt Disney World is getting in on the act with the Everest Base Camp Macaroon. The treat is shaped like the three iconic peaks of Expedition Everest at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and it's a Everest-sized chocolate and coconut macaroon with a snow cap of white chocolate and a flurry of snowflake sprinkles on a base of green tea chocolate crumbs. It's available at Thirsty River Bar and Trek Snacks for $5.99. Review on our site. According to current plans for Brightline's new rail line coming to Disney Springs, the train station may be incorporated into the Orange Garage. These early plans may be scrapped or changed, but it would make sense for the train station to be near the Disney Springs bus loop. This would allow guests to grab transportation to other Disney destinations or a resort hotel on property they might be staying at. Uh, do keep in mind, currently, you can't take luggage on these Disney Resort buses, but we would assume by that time, which would be at least five years from now, that some sort of transportation to the resorts will be available for guests or to other parks or wherever. With the lobby of Disney's Coronado Springs Resort relocated to the Grand Casino Tower, the former lobby in El Centro has been mostly untouched for a while. Um, they put some seating in and other things in 2019, uh, and then a bunch was walled off, and now it has quietly undergone a renovation. New wood flooring has been installed, replacing the dated tile and uh, parquet com uh, combination. The old rugs are gone as well, making way for a modern rug that matches the new building more so. Ponchito's gifts and sundries at the end of the room underwent a uh, renovation in 2019 as well. The archways that formerly house service counters are vacant, offering a wide open space, which we're sure more furniture is going to end up in as well. The additional standalone counters that would have been in the forefront of the photo you're looking at now have also been removed, so they just completely cleared it out. It's all gone. Easter is just about upon us at the Walt Disney World Resort, and more Easter treats are rolling in. Uh, we swung by Captain Cook's at the Polynesian Village Resort to have a taste of some of the new Easter-exclusive dessert options. Uh, we grabbed the Easter Bunny Dome Cake. It's a milk chocolate cake with white chocolate glaze and buttercream icing. It's at Captain Cook's for $5.99. The review at WDWNT.com. Make your morning coffee in one of these new Disneyland mugs, now available at the World of Disney in the downtown Disney District, likely coming to Disney World Soon, at least the monorail one. The first mug has icons from the park around it, again, matching those uh, little trays that had been released recently. The second mug, the one that's probably more interesting, has the monorails in different colors, both the current Walt Disney World and Disneyland fleet in design, uh, interspersed, along with the famous please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas, in English and Spanish. Get them for $14.99 each. Again, we'll let you know when they're at Disney World also, at least, the again, the monorail one. There should be a different version of that park icon one here. 
Downtown Disney District has two new unique toys inspired by the Disneyland Resort parking structure icons. These are those big metal icons that appear on the uh, ground level outside of these garages. Uh, there are these keychain uh, tops available where you can spin them. It's the Mickey and Friends icon, which is the, the, the three-dimensional Mickey Mouse icon with his traditional red pants and buttons. Uh, and then the Pixar Pals icon, which is the Luxo ball. And both of these, these are super cool. They're, it's weird that they made parking structure icons, but uh, I, I need to have these. They're $12.99 each. Disneyland Resort is no stranger to slightly unusual foods. All the time we're having all sorts of weird ice cream at Salt and Straw. But uh, this week we tried a rather unusual selection from the Blue Ribbon Corn Dog Cart. Blue Ribbon is famous for fresh dipped corn dogs. It's a panko crusted pickle dog with peanut butter dipping sauce. It's nuts. This is crazy. You could try it for $13. The, the review needs to be seen to be believed at DisneylandNewsToday.com. Not long after revealing the layout of the proposed expansion and remodeling of the Disney Village at Disneyland Paris, Outside Ears is added again, this time showing the concept art for the long overdue makeover of the shopping, dining, and entertainment district. Uh, it was not an uh, April Fool's joke. Thankfully, this is actually what this will look like when it's done, filled with uh, bigger walkways, open spaces, and greenery. Water features really bring the air to life and all new architecture as well as some new tenants. You see in this art, Hard Rock Cafe, we've confirmed with sources, that's an absolutely a thing that's being discussed. Uh, the art evokes the style of the village's uh, nature Paris, for sure, a recent development. Um, they have European influence, modern styling with a lot of glass and steel elements. Um, it is, uh, it's a very clean, different look from the old plan, and you know, usually I'm against this architectural style, but... Man, the Disney Village is rough. It is a rough look in place. It, it it needs it needs it. And this is this is a very positive a very positive plan for the future of Disneyland Paris. Sadly, no timeline for this project just yet. At long last, Mickey's Magical Music World is making its grand debut. It did on April 1st at Tokyo Disneyland. It was, of course, expected to debut on April 15th of 2020. To celebrate Tokyo Disney Resort is releasing some plush items as well as an incredible popcorn bucket. You'll find the photos and pricing of all these items on our site, but look at this popcorn bucket of the theater. Incredible. And if that's not enough for you, the big pop at Tokyo Disneyland is also going to be releasing a It's a Small World popcorn bucket, which actually has uh, the little uh, the characters uh, rotating in front of it like they do at the actual attraction. Very, very cool. Uh, beautiful colors. It's the whole facade of the building. Uh, this is going to be released on June 1st. It's going to retail for 2,800 yen, about $25.30 US. And yes, I'm getting both of these popcorn buckets. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. The Vacationeer, the official travel agency of WDWNT. I'd like to, I got a slide over here. I'm going over here to get it. Here it is. In case you haven't gotten this shirt yet, uh, new from Carousel of Products, our Donde Esta maintenance shirt in honor of whatever's going on at the Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three Caballeros. Grab yours for 20 bucks at CarouselofProducts.com. We have a ton of great stuff there. A great way to support the show. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with WDW News Today. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Welcome to Deep in the Plus. Each week we take a different movie or TV show from the Disney Plus vault and we tell you the history, the details, we give you our review, and we tell you if it's worth your time. Catch Deep in the Plus every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on WDWNT Entertainment.